In this video, we're learning how to evaluate exponents that have negative bases. So let's take a look at example one, which is negative three raised to the second. And when we're looking at this, we notice that the negative three is in parentheses, and then we have this squared or second exponent outside. So what number one is saying is that we wanna take negative three and we wanna square it, which means we wanna multiply it by itself two times. So we're really evaluating negative three times negative three. And now, hopefully you remember that when you multiply two negative numbers together, it turns into a positive number. So because three times three is nine, negative three times negative three is also nine because the two negatives turn into a positive. So we get that the quantity of negative three squared is gonna be equal to nine. And now I want to take a look at example two, which looks similar to example one, except this negative three is not in parentheses. So example two actually is different than number one, and the answer will come out different, and I'll show you guys why. So example two is saying that we have this three that is raised to the second. So I'm going to keep this negative on the outside, and we're only raising this three to the second power. So the negative is not inside of the parentheses. It is not being raised to the second. So really what this is saying is we have this negative, and then order of operations tells us that we have to square this 3 first. So it's negative, and then we're really multiplying 3 by itself. So this negative just stays on the outside. When we multiply 3 by 3, we get 9, and we have this negative on the outside, so we get negative nine as our answer instead of positive nine. If you guys wanna think about it a different way, you can think about this as negative one times three squared, if that makes more sense. And then order of operations tells us to square the three first, which we just realized is nine, and then we're gonna multiply negative one by nine, which comes out as negative nine. So either way you do it, you should get the same answer of negative nine. So now let's move on to example three, which is the quantity of negative two, that entire thing raised to the fifth power. So because negative two is in parentheses, and then that entire thing is being raised to the fifth, this is the same as negative two times itself five times. So that's what the fifth power means. That tells us how many times we wanna multiply our base, which is negative two. So if we go through this, I'm going to multiply negative 2 and negative 2 here first, which is going to give me a positive 4. I'm also going to multiply this negative 2 and this negative 2, which will give me another positive 4. And then I have this negative 2 left over, so I'll just keep that over here. And now I'm going to multiply these two 4s together first. So 4 times 4 is 16, and I still have this multiplied by this negative 2. And finally, 16 times negative 2 gives me a negative 32. So when I raise negative two, that entire quantity to the fifth, I get negative 32. So now I'm gonna take a look at example four, which looks different than example three, and we're gonna evaluate it similar to how we evaluated number two. So really this is the same as keeping the negative on the outside and raising two to the fifth power, which is the same as keeping the negative on the outside and multiplying two by itself five times. If we go through and multiply this out like we did for number three, we can do two times two, which is four, another two times two, which is also four, and we still have this two left over here, so we have to multiply it by two at the end. Keep the negative on the outside, four times four is 16, times this two that we still have, and now we have negative 16 times two, or you could think about it as negative and then 16 times two, Either way, we get negative 32. So it turns out that example three and four come out the same. And the reason is because they have an odd exponent. So when you have an odd exponent, it doesn't matter if the negative is inside the parentheses or outside the parentheses, your answer is going to be negative. However, if you go back to examples one and two, if you have an even exponent, if the negative is inside the parentheses, your answer is gonna be positive. If the negative is outside of the parentheses, your answer is gonna be negative. Let's go through four more examples just to make sure we've got this down. So for these last four examples, I encourage you guys to try them on your own, and then you can watch me work through them to make sure that you solve them correctly. 
So taking a look at example five, we have the quantity of negative 10 raised to the fourth power. So this is the same as negative 10 times itself four times. So I'm gonna write this out as negative 10 times itself four times. And now I'm gonna multiply the first negative tens together and the second two negative tens together separately. Remember, when you're multiplying, you can multiply in whatever order you'd like. So negative 10 times negative 10 is going to give me a positive 100 because two negatives multiplied together turn into a positive. And my other negative 10 times negative 10 is going to give me another 100. And now I'm gonna multiply 100 by 100. And we can multiply the ones in front, which is just one. And then we can add the four zeros. So we add the four zeros and we get 10,000, positive 10,000 as our answer. Moving on to example six, we have negative and then four to the third. So remember, we could write this as negative 1 times 4 to the third. So I'll show you guys how to do it this way this time, since on the last example, I did it the other method. So really, we're going to have negative 1 times 4 to the third means multiply 4 by itself three times. And now we want to simplify this. I'll multiply negative 1 times 4 first to get negative 4. And 4 times 4 is going to give me 16. And if we multiply negative 4 by positive 16, we should get negative 64 as our answer. And I'll just show you guys how to do this the other way in case you prefer the other method. So remember, you could also write this as a negative on the outside and then 4 times itself 3 times. Multiply this 4 and 4. And you're going to have the negative on the outside and then 16 times 4. Negative 16 times 4 is negative 64. Taking a look at example seven, we have a negative and then five squared. So we're gonna keep the negative on the outside and then we need to multiply five by itself twice because we are just squaring the five, not the negative. Keep the negative on the outside and five times five is 25. So we get negative 25. And finally, our last example is the quantity of negative 20 raised to the third. So this means we want to multiply negative 20 by itself three times. Let's multiply these first two negative 20s. Negative 20 times negative 20 is going to become positive 400. And then we have this multiplied by a negative 20. To multiply 400 by negative 20, I would multiply the 4 and the 2 to get 8. And then we're going to add these three zeros. And then we can't forget that our answer will be negative because we multiplied a positive by a negative. So we get negative 8,000. So hopefully this video helped you guys learn how to multiply exponents that have negative bases or negatives in front of their base. If you want some more practice with this, check out the link in our description for a free practice worksheet that has answers at the end.